Hello, my name is Connor O'Keefe. I identify as a trans man. I transitioned when I was 13 years old. I'm now a junior in college, and this is a video for parents. I've gotten a lot of questions, especially recently, from parents of trans kids who are looking for ways that they can help their child. There's this saying that I kind of have that goes something like, whenever a person transitions, everybody around them goes through a transition themselves. And I think that relationship is especially true between a parent and their kid even more so when their kid is a child or an adolescence, but I want this video to apply to all parents, regardless of how old your kid might be. So your child's come out to you as trans or non-binary. There might be a lot of feelings of confusion or uncertainty on your part. Your kid might seem kind of depressed or out of sorts or acting differently. You might not know what words like trans or non-binary mean. It can be a lot to handle, but like any good parent, your primary concern is your child's safety. So what can you do? What can you possibly do to help them along this process and this journey? Well, I'll start by saying that it's gonna be okay. Transitioning can be scary, it can be complicated, it can have a lot of stages and effects. It definitely isn't one linear process. There can be a lot of ups and downs, but ultimately it's a journey of self-discovery and realization. I mean, I try my best to use myself as an example. I came out some eight years ago and it is a choice I have never regretted. It wasn't easy, but it's helped me learn a lot about myself. And honestly, I have to say, I have my parents to thank for making that process much, much easier than it could have been. Their love, their support, and honestly, their hard work made a huge difference for me. And one of the first things that they did, which is one of the first things you should probably do too, was research. When I first came out, I showed my dad Skylar Kurgil videos to kind of help explain what I was going through. He's a trans man who at the time was much farther along his transition than I was, and I think it really helped my dad kind of wrap his head around what I was experiencing. And today, YouTubers are still a great way to get a really kind of personal, heart-to-heart -heart talk about what being trans can mean for some people, but there's so many more resources out there. I can provide some links in the description, but honestly, just look it up. There's great books, great movies, even TV shows and short web series all about gender and non-binary, genderqueer, and trans identities. I feel like it should seem obvious, but I want to make sure I add this research includes talking to your kid. There's a lot of different ways to be trans and make sure you talk to your kid about what it means to them. Do they want to go through any medical processes or not at all? Is therapy an interest of theirs? Hormones? Do they want to change their name or pronouns or maybe both? People exist all across the spectrums of all of these different things. Talk to your kid and learn what they want and need and what works for them. If they are changing their name and pronouns, respect that. I know it's not the easiest thing in the world, especially if you have a personal attachment to the name you might have chosen, but I promise you it will speak volumes. When I first came out, Nothing made me happier than hearing my own parents using the right name and pronouns. It was so validating and so wonderful and made me feel so safe and cared for and understood. It's especially important once your child is out to use the right name and pronouns even when they aren't there. It can be incredibly exhausting hearing the wrong name over and over and over again, and the more you can kind of prep other people to use the right ones, the better. Correct your coworkers and friends and neighbors. It's gonna make things a hell of a lot easier on your kid. One thing my parents did, which your child may or may not want, make sure to ask them first, was come out to family members and neighbors for me. When I first transitioned, I told my neighbor across the street my grandparents and my mom told my grandma and grandpa. It definitely alleviated a lot of the stress from my shoulders and honestly, the process of coming out as a team brought my family a lot closer together. Of course, this all comes after a conversation with your kid. You never know, they might really just want to handle it on their own, and that's okay too. This is moving a little bit further down the line, and not everybody chooses to do it, but some trans folks do want to change their name and pronouns legally, and maybe go through certain medical procedures, surgeries, or taking hormones. Going back to the first thing I said, researching these things can make them seem a lot less scary. But if you're able to, financial support can be really big. Something as simple as getting a court date to change your name can cost upwards of $100. And especially if your kid is in high school or college, they may not have the financial resources to pay for that. If money isn't something you're capable of helping with, you can always kind of take your kid through the steps of what they need to do. Changing your name, pronouns, having any sort of surgery, or going on hormones can be very, very complicated. <laughs> It can take a lot of steps to get doctor's appointments or court dates. There's a lot of paperwork to fill out. Sometimes you need to see a therapist for a certain amount of time before you can do anything. And it can be very confusing and there's not a lot of resources out there for it. 
something as simple as sending a link saying, hey, look, I found a list of all of these doctors that work with trans folks in your area can be super helpful. It also just shows that you're looking out and you want to be a part of this process. My parents came with me to all of my doctor's appointments, all sorts of court dates, which to this day I am insanely grateful for. It meant the world to me. But before you can do any of these things, first and foremost, you need to validate your kid. To me and most other trans people I know, three words mean everything from our parents. I believe you. As I said at the beginning of this video, transitioning can be confusing and scary. It can be a long process that involves a lot of questions and a lot of self-doubt. And having a parent doubt you on top of that is one of the most damaging things in the world. When your kid first tells you they're trans, I know it will seem like a very new thing to you that they might have just jumped into, but you don't know how long they've really been thinking about this. Trust them. The more you trust them, the more they'll feel comfortable taking their time to figure things out, taking their own steps, doing things in their own way, and the more they'll be able to turn to you. If there isn't that trust there in the first place, if there isn't that validation, that affirmation, none of the rest of this stuff matters. It doesn't mean anything. If your kid comes out to you as trans, the best response you can possibly have is to say, I believe you, what do you need me to do? Because if that trust is there, then your kid will tell you what they need and you won't even need to watch this video. How great would that be? <laughs> If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me an email. I'm always available to be a resource and to be of help. If you're in any way, shape, or form interested in seeing more videos like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I would love to provide more content talking about parents and friends and how to be a good ally and supporter. But anyway, that's about all I got. My foot is definitely asleep. Oh man, I'm not getting up for a little bit. Um... So I'm just going to chill here and you can, uh, you can hit subscribe. That'd be, that'd be cool. Oh my God. Okay.